Hello, welcome to another episode of Phantom Bricks. Today we've got the final Harry Potter house banner set for you. Saved my favorite for last. This is the Ravenclaw house banner, set number 76411. It's out now and it does not disappoint. So let's get to it. We'll give you a look at the Ravenclaw house banner set. Now, I will admit up front, I'm a bit biased in favor of Ravenclaw because Luna Lovegood is one of my favorite characters from the books, and in particular, Jim Dale's rendition of her in the audiobooks. So as with the other house banners, this set comes with a hook at the very top so that it can be hung on a wall and displayed when it is folded up. And when you combine it with the other three house banners, they make a fantastic display piece for any Harry Potter fan. And the best part is, when you want to play with them, you just take them down, unfold them, you're ready to go. When it's time to put them up, you just fold them up, put them up on the wall, you've got a great display piece. Let's take a look at the set in its unfolded form. The set is designed to represent the Ravenclaw common room. And in keeping with the academic intellectual theme of the Ravenclaw house, there are a number of stickered images across the bottom part of the set that feature books and bookcases. Right above, the set has a really cool bookcase built with bricks, plates, and tiles. We see this in a lot of sets these days, and it always adds nice visual flair to the set, particularly one like this. Right in the center of the set is a large vertical fireplace build that starts with a fire complete with grill at the bottom that then rises up to the mantle on which we see a sticker tile with the Ravenclaw house banner and then leads up to the chimney above it. One of the elements that I really love in this set is how the designers emphasize each house's colors in a shield image at the top of the set that's created by interposing two sloped curved bricks in front of four tiles that are stacked vertically on the wall. Now turning to the minifigures, we get Cho Chang, Luna Lovegood, and Michael Corner, along with a Cornish pixie figure. So we get a nice lineup of secondary and tertiary characters from the book. As I've said in the other videos, the coolest feature of these house banners is the lenticular background. This creates a 3D effect when you change your viewing angle to it, which we'll show you a little bit of right here. Lego has not made a lot of use of lenticulars in the past, and they use it to great effect here. Now here we get a nice 3D image of Rowena Ravenclaw, a moving fire, and a few other nice 3D images. I really like these lenticulars and hope that Lego uses this effect in more sets in the future. And we'll wrap up by giving you a nice full 360 degree view of the banner in its display form. Banner is available now and is a must have for any fan of Lego and Harry Potter. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that look at the Harry Potter Ravenclaw House Banner set, set number 76411. It's out now. You can find it on our website at www.phantom-toys.com. And if we're out of stock, you can always find it at lego.com too. 